Hello everyone. We will continue the topic debugging. Now we will understand the more features of the debugger, which will help us to resolve the errors more quickly. We will see the various features available in debugging mode for the internal tables. Suppose we are getting the data in the internal table. We can change the data of the internal table. We can insert the data to the internal table. We can delete the data from the internal table. We can delete whole data of the internal table. We can insert the data to the internal table. You can perform all these things to the internal tables in the debugging mode itself. So which will help you to reach to the solution earlier. Suppose I'm running one program. I will go to the program. Suppose in this program, I'm putting a breakpoint on 37 number line. I'm executing the program. I am on desktop 3. My first internal table, 0 records, 5 number of columns. Suppose I am executing this query using F6 key because it is one line in SA. I am doing F6. You can see five records came into the internal table. I can change the contents of any of the row in the debugging mode, how I can change. Suppose I'm selecting the row. There is a button, services of the tool. Change selected rows. Suppose I am changing the value from C to D and I am pressing enter. Suppose I want to change the content of the fifth record. So I'll simply select the fifth record. I will go to services of the tool, change selected rows. Suppose I'm changing the amount from 200 to 4. So at runtime, I can change the contents in the debugging mode and I can see the result, what sort of result I want to check. Now, in the debugging mode itself, you can append the rows, means you can insert the rows to the internal table. Suppose, how to insert? I will go for append okay append always always insert the record at the last of the internal table suppose we have five records in the internal table so the record which we are inserting it will go to sixth position okay Suppose I am adding a order number six in the debugging mode. See, I inserted a additional record to the internal table. Suppose I want to delete some selected rows. I want to delete some selected rows from the internal table. So I will simply select the rows I will go to services of the tool and I can delete those rows. Delete selected rows. Okay. 
and you can see those two records deleted from the internal table so at run time you can apply the operations you can check the expected output so these all are the features available suppose i want to make this internal table blank at the run time i want to delete all the contents of the internal table so i can simply simply use this option delete whole table if i will go for this okay and you can see my internal table is blank so you can add the records you can delete the records you can delete all the records you can change the contents of the records change the contents of the internal table in the debugging mode these are the features available in the debugging mode now suppose i will go for another thing suppose i will go to another program suppose suppose this is the program i am putting a breakpoint in the program i am running the program suppose i am passing the input one from the program i pass the input one i passed the input one you can change the contents at the run time suppose i want to see the result of order number 2 so at the run time i have a option to change suppose there is a button there is a button change click on to this button and pass 2 whenever i will press enter so system will fetch the data based upon input 2 input 2 so in the debugging mode run time itself you can change the values previously we saw how we can apply the various operations on the internal table now we are changing the values of the variables we can change the values of the variables at run time and we can see the results we can check the results these are the various features available in the debugging mode now in the debugging mode we have a facility to switch or i'll say to jump to a selected line suppose simply i am executing this query by using f16 if i am opening the internal table one record came in the internal table for order number 2 suppose i do not want to execute this part of the logic i directly want to jump on to the 23 number i do not want this logic to execute in the debugging mode at the run time so what i can do simply i'll put the cursor here and there is a the option debugger go to statement and you can see i am on 23 number line widely widely used thing in the debugging mode sometimes to check the expected results or to check the result we want to skip some lines of logic we do not want to execute those lines of logic so you can simply simply put the cursor on that line debugger go to statement shift plus f12 is the shortcut so execution the start from here suppose we'll go for another scenario where you can see the real use suppose i am running the program i am giving the input i am executing 
I will go to desktop three. I am executing the program. There are there is one record in the internal table. I am deleting this record. Suppose by mistake I deleted this record. Now I want to see the execution of this query again. So you have a option that you can go to this particular statement and debug this code again. Sometimes. We want to analyze the previous logic again, which we already debug. So in that case, you have a option to go back to the statements. Simple, put the cursor there. Debugger, go to statement. So again, the execution will start from here. Now suppose if I am executing this again. You can see again one record came in the internal table. Widely, widely used technique shift plus F12. You can directly go to a particular statement and you can debug, start debugging that particular statement. Sometimes in the projects, we do not want to execute some kind, some sort of logic to check our results. In that case, you can directly put the cursor on the line debugger go to statement. So program execution will start from there. Or if you want to analyze the previous lines, you can again put the cursor there debugger go to statement. So what is the summary in this of this video? We learned what are the various operations we can perform on the internal tables in the debugging mode. After that, we learned we can change the variable values in the debugging mode. After that, we learned that you can move on to a selected line in the debugging mode by debugger go to statement debugger go to statement or shift plus F12 is the shortcut. Next part will continue in the next video. Thank you.